Hi Church, for today's video I'm in the nursery of our baby boy Cormac. I told you last week uh, that everything about Kelly's pregnancy uh, was on schedule and that Cormac was on schedule or on track to be born May 15th, our due date. However, a lot has changed in a week and Kelly's doctor on Friday said that Kelly's body is progressing this pregnancy much faster than should be happening. So she's now been put on bed rest. Uh, so please pray that Cormac will arrive on time and no earlier than that. Today I want to talk about prayer number two from our prayer card. Hopefully you all received one of these prayer cards and you've placed it somewhere where you will see it and be reminded to pray these seven prayers for our church. As a reminder, I'm also fasting each Monday uh, from now until we can be with you in person. I hope you'll be joining with me in fasting each Monday. If you can't fast from food, remember uh, you can still join in the fast by fasting from something else. Uh, but let's talk about prayer number two today. Prayer number two is for increased personal spiritual growth. And the language of that prayer is very intentional. Uh, you'll hear me say it many, many times. Going to church does not necessarily mean you are a Christian. And doing all of these regular, regular Christian practices that we often do don't necessarily mean you'll grow in your faith or in your godliness or spiritual maturity. The four gospel accounts in scripture are filled with religious leaders who clearly practice all of the right religious things and they clearly knew their Bibles well and yet there was still a disconnect. They weren't growing in their spiritual maturity. If, if they were, they would have recognized that the Jesus before them was the Son of God. So we pray very intentionally that God would increase our spiritual growth. The book of James says we, we have not because we ask not. So we are going to ask together as an entire Grace Tabernacle congregation that he would increase our spiritual maturity. And this is not just a prayer that we're going to pray for others, for our spouse or from, for someone else who really seems like they need uh, to grow closer to the Lord. But this needs to be a prayer that we're praying for ourselves. So I need to pray that God would increase my spiritual growth, that I would grow in godliness and maturity. And I hope you will be praying the same thing. And also as we're praying that God would, would increase this spiritual maturity in our lives, let's pray that people around us would see it, that they would recognize something is different in our lives uh, and we would have opportunities to share with them why this growth has been happening, why this transformation has been taking place in our lives. And it would give us an opportunity to tell others about the Jesus whom we love and serve. So thanks. I'll see you again next week in another video as I discuss prayer number three. I hope you'll be joining with me tomorrow in fasting for our congregation. And please remember, I've asked the board to pray about some very specific ways we can begin reaching our neighborhood for the Lord. So please join with me uh, in praying about that. Thanks. We love you. We hope to see you very soon after the baby's born. Thanks, church. Bye-bye.